So I just have some three uh, spoken word poems for you guys tonight. So here's the first one. It's called Jigsaw. When you're slumped on the floor like the comforter thrown off the bed in a sweaty, sleepless night, crumpled, lifeless, remember. Someone always makes the bed in the morning, tucked back into place neatly decorated with a crown of pillows that add the perfect amount of softness you sigh. Because eventually everything is back in place. I make messes, we all do. And no doubt I mess up, but there is always someone to pick me up, put the pieces back together. You see, when Hasbro brought us the game of life, I think they made a mistake. Moving on one route isn't how life works. It's a giant jigsaw puzzle. And when you look in the box cover, you marvel and cower because it's scary and imperfect, but in the imperfection, there's beauty and awe and always someone fearless enough to try their hand at it. And I'm not certain I can put the puzzle together in one go because then I don't think that I would be human. But each time when sky blue piece doesn't exactly match with the indigo ocean, I'll try again. And if I'm too tired to try again, there will no doubt be someone who has just enough energy because we are not the only authors of our life. On the inside cover are the family, the friends who become family, the strangers you weren't supposed to talk to, whose random acts of kindness are unforgettable, the hated, the envied, the love, everyone, and everything makes us. So yeah, I'll make mistakes, and I'll rely on others, because I know if I need someone, they'll be there, and so will I. Arms outstretched, hands poised, to help do anyone's puzzle that might just be a bit too tired. Okay. Snaps, nice. That's the wrong one, sorry. Okay, let's just put some down there. <laughs> All right, so this next one is called Eyes. Some say the eyes are the windows to the soul. Pupils dilate as images flash at the speed of light or at the speed of an elderly man crossing the street, slow. Deliberate. Each step is progress, progress you can see, and I want to be that progress. Provide something so beautiful, so mesmerizing, you can't. No, you won't look away. And as it crosses the threshold, the brown, the blue, the green, it touches the soul. Like the hand of a force more powerful than ourselves, it keeps the heart beating and reminds us what it is to be human, a part of humanity. And now you don't want to look away because you were touched. The people whose interconnectedness shocks you, leaving a connection so electric your hairs stand on end, but it feels so right. Because together we accomplish so much more, together we see. We see with eyes open that we can't do this alone. The image of your brothers, your sisters around the world and color your heart with messy marker because when we do things together, they aren't necessarily clean, but they leave you full. At times you overflow. So let your eyes connect with your soul and take it all in. Okay, so this last one is called The Gift, and I, um, I don't know, probably like a lot of other people here <laughs> struggling with like what I want to do or whatever when I graduate and when I get older, I guess, now that I'm older, I don't know. Um, so this was kind of written like at night, like two in the morning, this like stupid line pops into my head and I can't get it out of my head, so I like write the whole poem on my phone and whatever. So yeah, that's, this is just about um, growing up and what happens because of that. All right. When I was a kid, I told everyone I wanted to climb mountains, big tall mountains whose tips stood above the clouds like crowns on the head of the world, whose slopes were a frozen tundra of wind whipping back and forth mountains that made you feel so small and yet so big, like at any moment you could be the last one in this world, and if you were lucky enough, you might just make it all the way up to the top and back down again. But now that I'm all grown up, I can't think about the future. No, now it's the present, and this present, it isn't a gift. You rip open the dull paper, a fake smile plastered on your face. It'll leave a sour taste in your mouth and a pit in your stomach, like you haven't eaten all day, and you're starving for the answer to that loaded question. What do you want to be when you grow up? It's like my brain shuts down and the million neurons that are firing at a million times per second seem to stop. And I can give no answer because there is so much expected of us. What will we do? Who will we be? And where will we go? How will we make a name for ourselves in this seemingly nameless world? And for me, I just want to tuck it into a box, fold it up neatly and put it away in the corner and pretend I'm just that kid who wants to climb mountains because that's so much easier. 
And sooner or later, we must face that this life won't hand anything to us. It's the hard work, the determination that takes us places. I may not know what I want to do, and I definitely don't know how I'm going to do it. But one thing is clear. I want to do something great. I want to be remembered for adding something to this world, like the hope at the end of a dark tunnel, a lighthouse that leads a distant ship to shore, a beacon for people to flock to. And fear is the only thing that stops me in my tracks, stops us all in our tracks. Glues our feet to the ground in a standstill, so take a deep breath. <sighs> Breathe. Get over the fear of not knowing, of not succeeding, of not being able to accomplish all that you can. And you might just find that you can satisfy the hunger with a craving you never knew you had.